Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. Guys, I'm out in my painting room today. Um, AKA my garage. <laughs> Maybe one of these days, guys, I'll get it fixed up. I'm I'm wanting to. I have it I've got a lot of the stuff done in here, but I like some of the um like the uh sheetrock in the top. You know, you can see rafters, in other words, and uh, which I got it insulated, but that's it with the rafters, and then the walls with the with the uh, two by fours and insulation. So maybe one day I'll get it finished off. I'm wanting to put the same boards that's in my house. I've got like the boards in there that you um, they, they kind of lock together, uh, and I'm hoping to do that one day. But right now, it's just not possible with the funds. Anyway. Enough rattling on. This is Carson that I'm working on. And she said I could share her name. If she wanted to share the excitement with everybody else. This is Carrie's Little Cuties Baby. Go over to her channel, guys, and subscribe to her. Uh, very nice lady, guys. And she has uh, commissioned me to do her a Carson. He's a little boy. Uh, he's equipped with the little boy parts. He is a solid, uh, full-body silicone baby he's done in the ecoflex 20 and i think she mixes maybe a 10 with it because this is in the super soft blend and i think it's like a eco 10 and a 20 mix and i haven't got his eyes in yet but i did get cut out for him you've seen that the other day i have got all of his front done painted and i kind of let you get him now he looks shiny he's not going to be this way when i get him done guys but there he is he's coming along see how shiny he looks this his paint is perfectly dry guys it's just uh it's the way the silicone looks until you mat them and at the very end i'll do a matte coat and uh that'll take all the shine off of him but i got his little lips painted look aren't they pretty they come out such a pretty color i just love the color of his they're not um they just look natural guys they don't look like they've been painted on they look natural and uh yeah so He's coming along, guys, very, very well. You can see now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I've done all of his front side. Oops, look at that little foot around there, guys. Um, I painted all of his front side, and then I'll flip him over, and I'm going to start the back side today, which I have done and already started his veining in the back of his head. I'm going to flip him and let you see the difference uh, when I flip him over. So here we go. Might see some booty here, guys, just the booty, though. And uh, let, me, let me get his little head up. I don't like his face to lay down on nothing, but I put a paper towel under it. So can you see the difference in the color of the back and the front? See? Now look at the front. See that? There's the difference. And I'll be doing this back. Now, I did get his veining done in the back of his head. Look here. Can you see that? I hope it's picking it up for you. And see, then I'll start from here, and I'll go around, and I'll do all the painting from here down and have his back done. Guys, this takes so long because what happens is, is you have to, um, what you have to do is you have to put on a coat, one coat of whatever you're doing, like if you're doing the mottling or you're doing the veining or you're doing the creasing, no matter, whichever coat you're putting on at that time, you have to put it on and you literally have to let it sit for two, at least two hours. It just depends on your humidity and all that, how, how quick it takes to dry. Um, uh, and that's, uh, that's how long it takes before you put on the other coat. Okay, and then you come back in a couple of hours, you put on another coat, and then you have to let that sit for two hours. Um, it's, it, that's how long it takes for the silicone to dry. Now, I say two hours, it may be less time for you, it might be more time for you. Uh, it depends on your humidity, how fast they dry. And where I live out here, we're up in the mountains, but we still, we have had some really, really bad, excuse me, guys. We have had some really, really bad humidity up in here. And it's been really humid. So it's taken a little longer on his paint to dry. But he's looking great, guys, as I'm looking over him. He's he's coming along really, really well. Um, he's doing real good. But now, next I will... I have to clean him again, and what I clean him with, guys, but every time before I paint, after he sits for a while, even if it's just an hour, I take acetone, and I clean him back off with it. You know, take a paper towel or a sponge or something and just rub him back down. 
You can't use anything latex. It's got latex in it on these guys. That's the reason I don't have any gloves on. You cannot use latex on these guys because on these silicones because they will not cure. It, it inhibits the curing on them, and they won't they won't cure. So you can't do that. And uh, yeah, you just have to on the sponges make sure you get latex free. And I actually got a latex free, or that's what they told me at one point. I got a latex free. Uh, um, sponge and I got that baby and was working with it and it's it wouldn't cure and it said latex free and didn't have supposedly didn't have anything else in the cu in the sponge either you know you can't have anything like aloe vera in the sponge and all that junk they put in it now it's just be a plain sponge and latex free and uh, I, that's what it said but I got it home it was the ones from Walmart and I got them home and my baby wasn't curing and I done everything I know. I, I took it off, and the silicone wasn't curing on the baby. So I took it off, and I went in, and I gave him another good bath, scrubbed down. I thought, well, maybe some of the release agents still on there that they use when they're pouring them. Scrubbed it back down, brought it back out, painted it again, done the same thing, wouldn't cure. I figured out it was the sponges. So I now buy the cheap sponges from the Dollar, Family Dollar or Dollar General store. This is latex free and I have found they work perfectly great and they're cheaper on these babies and that's what I use so just if you ever do one and it's not the paints not curing for you check the check those sponges change the sponge out and try a different sponge from a different store you know and I, I found that the ones at the dollar store work great now I had to cover up these little private parts guys because you know I'll get flagged for that but there's these little feet how they're coming along Maybe you can see those. I got his little toenails painted and his little fingernails. I got his eyebrows painted. They turned out wonderful. They look absolutely great. So he's doing great, guys. He's really, really coming along really nicely. I love his painting. It's looking great on him. So anyway, this is Carrie's Little Cuties Babies. And y'all go over and subscribe to her channel, guys. Very nice lady. And this is her baby. And uh, she can tell you what she's naming him. And then when I get him done and sent to her, then you can share in his box opening. And, uh, yeah, so I wanted to give her an update on her little boy. And there you are, Carrie. He's coming along. He's going to be beautiful. He's going to be really pretty. I, this is the first one I've done in him. He's pretty. He's a pretty little boy. Okay, guys, I guess that's all I did want to mention. Um, a few people back at my prayers again. In our, well, and not mine, but, well, mine but everybody else's too if you would to keep this person in your prayers it's Jeanette from she was my reborns I adore she's not doing real well guys she's and she needs all the prayers she can get and uh yeah so if you would just keep her in your prayers also um Lori at uh, the butterfly house she was Lori's reborn nursery she's the butterfly house now uh, guys, she's having a lot of trouble with getting her medicine, her medications that she needs um, from, uh, you know, because they're so expensive. And after, even after her insurance, you know, she has to pay her co-pays and everything. She still has to pay $1,000 for this medication. Uh, it's an antibiotic, she told me, and it's, um, it's, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, $1,000 even after I mean, that's with, you know, because of the co-pays and stuff. It's $1,000. And she has to have it, guys, in order to get well. Um, so, I'm going to be donating a baby just as soon as I can. I'm going to try to get a baby together and try to uh, donate it for her. Uh, in behalf, on her behalf. Uh, you know, she'll get the money for it. So, I'll be showing you that pretty soon. But just keep her in your prayers, guys. All that will, please keep her in your prayers. She's also my channel buddy this month. So I wanted to give her a shout out for that. Go over and visit her on her channel. It, her name is Lori, and her new channel name is The Butterfly House. So go over and, and uh, subscribe to her if you're not already. I would appreciate that. And send her some, um, you know, some good thoughts and well wishes. And uh, if you pray, keep her in your prayers. I'd appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, now, Jeanette's channel, I can't remember, I've got to check on that new name of hers, guys. It used to be My, Redo My Reborns I Adore. 
And you might can still pick it up as that. She's got a different name now, though. But uh, her comments are disabled, guys, so you can't leave any comments. But uh, it would be nice if you would just go over and, and at least maybe click the uh, like bell, you know, the like, thumbs up thing. And, uh, you know, let her know that there are people there that are thinking of her and praying for her. And Jeanette, you know, if you see uh, if you see thumbs up on your videos that you do, at least one of them will be mine. You'll know that when you see it. You'll know one of those those likes are mine, those thumbs up, because uh, I watch each and every one of your videos you put up. Okay, guys, that's it right now. I think that's all I need to say for now. I just wanted to and talk to you guys guys again in a few days, and I wanted to let you know what was going on. And let Carrie know I'm working on her baby. I also have, after the, he's done, I've got a Gracie to do. For another lady, she hasn't given me the go-ahead to tell her name yet. So I can't do that and uh, until she does. And then I've got another Gracie that I just ordered this morning. The, another lady's having a Gracie mate. So I've got two more at least after this one. So, yeah. Y'all got to stay tuned to my channel to see all these beautiful babies come to life. And, uh, yeah, so... All right, guys, that's it. I will talk to you later. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's nothing else. I'll see you soon in a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.